hello guys so today we are going to build this localization app with block and as well as provider so in this app we are going to have different language options and we will switch accordingly so if we click on this Hindi and change and when we go back we can see all text in Hindi if we switch to Arabic then our UI got changed everything from right to left now and if we go back and this is the text we switch to any language and when we close this app and open it again it will hold that state and if it is Hindi then it will be in Hindi so we can implement as many languages present but for this example I'm going to demonstrate with these three okay so uh, the first part will be with block and the second part of this video will be with provider okay so we are inside the default flutter app and just let run this and Okay, so now it is up and running. Now uh, we need to have few things first. So just go to pubspec.yaml file and add these dependencies. So those will be this Intel, Flutter localization, Flutter block, equitable, and set preference. Okay, and just get just uh, do a flutter pubkit and it is done let's go back to our main dot dot before we are going to create a folder okay so that will be elton file and inside this folder we are going to keep all our language file so how it's going to be create another file and the file name should be intel underscore and your language code okay so for English it is en you can find it on Google and you have to the file extension will be a r b okay and hit enter so it is a JSON file and inside this we are going to have few text so I'm just grab this text paste it over here so this is our text so the name is flutter localization and everything is over here so from this file we are going to fetch it now just go back and in this file just remove all this okay and just create another folder or just see we can how create a folder and a file in one go so there will be a screens just give a slash and your file name so here it will be home screen And hit enter so it is going to create folder and file at the same time and inside this just create a stateless uh, widget and hit enter and just name it as a home screen and in the main file just remove all and import it over here and we have nothing because in this place just a placeholder replace this with a scaffold and here we go so give the app bar after this app bar we need to have some body so our basic structure of home screen is ready where we are going to have all the text in this file which is going to come from file okay and how we are going to do this so we have added intel package so this is going to help us to do like mapping of our words we need to add few more things go down in this place and add generate to true and scroll down at the bottom and it is good so our pub spec yaml file is done now main part go to the home screen after this theme 
we are going to add a localization okay delegates and it is going to be a is going to be s dot delegates okay and where this s is coming from it is coming from our file okay so once uh, i have saved that i have added this generate this one it generated this file okay so if you come here you can see like lot of codes which is basically mapping our words what we have in this file and this is the class which we are calling and we have to call this current to get our current name or the this mapping thing okay so it is very simple we don't have to do anything it is there and we need to add some more delegates there so this will be material widget everything and just add a flutter localization we have to add a support and this will be this support local will be from s delegate dot support locals and then we have to add a locals so this is the main thing so it say it want english and currently we have just english so just duplicate this file copy and paste rename this it will be hindi okay and just change this uh, content over here so yeah it is change save it and all done so you can see a message hindi is uh, generated by default you don't have to do anything else now how we are going to see this thing in our widget we have to come in this class okay our home screen and we have to access uh, the file uh, access the text from there so here we are going to write s capital s dot and then add a current and dot and we have all the things so over here it is a name save it it's change into filter localization now we will do same thing with all the words so it is coming directly from over this file yeah. all good now if i go to main dot dot and change this into hi in hindi and restart our app then you can see all text is changed into hindi so this is the thing we have to map our words over here in all languages so as many language we are going to have we have to have separate file for individual language inside this l10 file yeah that's all uh, we need for this but like how to manage this okay so there should be something uh, to change our language so for that let's build another screen and go to home dot dot add an action okay and inside this action i'm going to add a icon button so we will add this icon dot language and if we click on this we have to navigate into other with this name language screen we are going to navigate from home screen to this screen so inside this on press add the navigation and just import this screen all good if we click we navigate to our language screen and for this we need uh, one more thing so that is going to be our model if language is in arabic so we are going to have this uh, this is a language model and we have to add in this manner so language in the original language text then in english what we spell and the language code same for english and same for hindi so if we are going to increase any more language we have to increase this list okay based on this list we are going to create a list inside a language screen so remove this const go over here add a body a body is going to be list view builder and builder is going to to return a radio list style add item count this count is going to come from our language model dot length above body we have added this and this is going to come from over this file save it yeah so we are in hindi so we are able to see this in hindi 
don't confuse uh, it is like en that's why it is on en if you change into hindi it will be in hindi if uh, click create another file inside this uh, for arabic so we have our our arabic file also here okay and this is a point where like our ui part is done now we have to deal with our state management okay now we are going to uh, integrate block so inside this screen create just right click and have a new block localization and this block is created over here we have this empty block events and state okay so first we are going to create the state so state is like pretty uh, simple what we are going to do we are going to remove this sealed class okay and remove this we don't need this and inside this uh, we are going to have final locale which is going to come from final locale and you have to import ui don't import other otherwise you will have some problem and inside this we have to add this dot local and we have to say like what will be the default default state because we need a uh, english language and inside this prop we need to pass the local so inside event we are going to create load localization event which will have local and another event will be load saved localization so inside this block this is going to be the initial block the initial state then we are going to call if we are going to call the load localization then it is going to work on get localization okay so inside this get localization we are fetching our localization from our local state what we have saved inside this share preference so we are checking if we are getting any uh, language code then we are returning that into our localization if there is nothing then we are giving en okay and uh, and that's that is get lo uh, get the language when we are running the app for the first time and in that change localization and in in this change uh, localization we are checking if our current localization and the previous localization both are same then we are not going to do anything if it is, it is different then we are going to save it and for saving it we are using this saved preference and our language code goes into this variable and we are emitting that particular state so our block is complete with this now we have to add this block into our main.dart file to access it so go inside this main.dart and wrap this uh, material app with a block builder so here and it is going to be all good so this is uh, wrapped and inside this we need to change and we have to access state dot local and this is our state local which is coming from the block okay now uh, we need to do a couple more things to have this we have to wrap this with block provider our my app remove this const and this is going to be localization block and here we have to add and we have to add our load we have to add this load localization so we can fetch our language at the first so this is done uh, for the block side okay uh, in the language file now we have to change from this particular place so just go to the language file we need to use block listener whether the things are changing or not and and block builder to build the widget so for that we can use a block consumer now wrap this with a block consumer because we need both import in this place okay we are going to have which is going to be state dot local dot language code so we are fetching this code in this place and in this localization we can add this so whenever it 
is going to change listener is going to listen and update it after this uh, we have to go to the on change method provider of localization and we have to pass the value and the value will be item dot language code so yeah we have almost done now there's two way to read so there's a block provider of context we can read or we can have a context dot read okay now just restart your app because we are using shared preference so we can have some error and yeah moment of truth it is ready if you come back change into Hindi it is Hindi and this is also Hindi if we go change into Arabic and this is Arabic if we close so let's see whether it is holding the state or not so we have close open and yeah it is in Arabic so it is working fine change back to Hindi close it again coming back and it is in Hindi so this is done if you want to see how to do the same thing with provider check the next part of this video and now if we have to like add anything any language like extra than this three language we just have to duplicate this file rename it add inside this uh, add inside this model and all done you are good to go with all different language which you need in future simple localization thank you and subscribe to this youtube channel like it and do comment what different video you want